the advantage of a challenge is that you're saying, okay, for the next 30 days or for the next 90 days, I'm going to push myself a little further. Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Uh, today I want to talk about the next series of challenges that link 90 day challenges or 30 day challenges. Remember, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. And if you follow me on a podcast service, please leave a comment. So, uh, I have been involved in a number of language challenges at Link. Why do I do it? And why do I think it's a good idea for, for learners to push themselves in this way? Um, you know, one of the main issues, in fact, I've said before that the, the, with language learning, it's a function of, of attitude and of time. It's time spent with the language. Uh, so attitude, a large part of attitude is, of course, our motivation, how keen we are. And in an ideal world, every day we wake up and we just can't wait to start learning our language. We can't wait to listen. We can't wait to read and we're happy and everything is, you know, on the up and up. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. There are days when we don't feel like uh, listening to our whatever we're listening to. There are days when we're discouraged, when we're busy. We invent all kinds of reasons why we needn't bother. And yet we know that, you know, staying with it, this idea of continuity, is so important to language learning. Even a little bit every day is going to keep us moving in the direction of fluency or whatever, you know, our goal is. So that's one of the reasons why at Link we have a number of sort of call it tricks to keep people going. Uh, the statistics in themselves are motivating. They're motivating to, motivating to me. How many words have I read? How many words have I saved? In other words, how many links have I created? How many hours have I listened? When I look back in my profile page and I see when I started and when I was active and how active I've been over the last little period, all of this is motivating to me. So the statistics are in themselves motivating. But the advantage of a challenge is that you're saying, okay, for the next 30 days or for the next 90 days, I'm going to push myself a little further. And one of the things that I think the link team has done that's, that's really good now is that whereas before you had to have, you know, you had specific targets, like you had to say so many words, in other words, create so many links, uh, you had to read so many words, you had to listen so many hours. There were very specific, you know, activity related uh, targets. And that's a bit unfair because, you know, as I often say, you want to keep doing the things that you enjoy doing. So some days you're more inclined to listen, or maybe you only have time to listen. Some other days you're more inclined to read. Maybe you're reading material that you've already gone through. Some other day you're going through new material. So you're, you're creating new links. And so by kind of merging, funging everyone, every activity into the, the concept of coins, as long as you maintain the target you've set for coins, uh, which you can do in a variety of different ways, you are able to maintain a streak. So not only is the target important and the idea that you're committed to a 30 or a 90 day uh, challenge important, but I found this desire to maintain my streak kept me going. And so you want to be careful that you set a level in terms of the coins per day that is sufficiently challenging without being too difficult so that it's kind of you're pushing yourself, but it's not too easy. And if you're able to do that, then you get a great sense of, sense of satisfaction because we know that the brain, if the brain is confronted with a task that's a little difficult and is able to do it, there is a great sense of satisfaction. If the task is too easy, then there is very little stimulus from that. If the task is so difficult that we simply can't maintain that level of activity, then it's discouraging. So it's important to choose a level that, that works for you, that pushes you without being too difficult. And occasionally I, what I do, if I fall behind and I lose my streak, then I'm able to take the coins that I've earned and use them to repair my streak. So if I, if I have a streak of 30 days and then for whatever reason, I wasn't able to do anything the next day, I'm able to repair my streak so that I now have a 31, 32, 33, and just keep that streak going. So, you know, and some of us may be into several languages. So that's a bit of a disadvantage that you can't merge across languages. So the solution there is to set not too tough a 
target in each of two or three languages so that you're able to maintain your activity in those languages. And so uh, let's say you're uh, going to have a tougher sort of goal in say in my case Persian and a somewhat lower goal in Arabic and Turkish then I don't have to spend a lot of time on the minor languages to maintain that lesser you know goal maintain my streak but at least I'm staying in touch with those languages while I focus more effort on my main language. So check out the uh, uh, challenges at link commit yourself to a challenge you'll be happy you did and then you can follow how other link members are doing by going to the community page and seeing who you know who has the longest streak who has uh, you know created the most links and so forth and so on so it's, it's a fun way to connect with others which also is important in language learning because sometimes we can feel that it's a bit of a lonely activity but once we realize we're part of a larger community that uh, are working on whatever language it might be the language you're learning or some other language you can see the sort of uh, level of activity in different languages i find that quite motivating so with that i would encourage you to get involved here in the new year in uh, some kind of a challenge 30 or 90 days push yourself not so hard that you can't keep up but not so easy that you don't really feel that you've achieved very much so Best of luck to you on your challenges and uh, you'll see in these uh, videos that I'll leave with you that I have had challenges in a number of languages and it has pushed me forward. So good luck to you. Bye for now.